Welcome back to Barney Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing a collaboration with a few other YouTubers called Hashtag Don't Let Your Meat Loaf. We're all going to be doing some kind of different meat loaf. We don't know what they're doing. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a bacon infused meat loaf with a spicy Bloody Mary glaze to go on top. I'm going to be throwing it down on the Yoda YS 640S. Real simple, real tasty, and it's going down right now. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's get the ingredients for our meatloaf going. I got a half a pound of cob smoked bacon that I diced up here. I'm gonna get them into a pan here. This pan is running on low to medium. I'm just gonna render this fat out of here. I don't wanna cook this all the way through. I don't want it crispy. All right, we got our bacon rendered down. That's what we're going for. Right there, that look, you don't want to overcook it. Take it out of the pan, toss it onto a paper towel lined plate. Keep about two tablespoons of that bacon grease. To that bacon grease, we're gonna add one small onion, minced up. I got a jalapeno here. This was a large one, de-seeded, de-veined. Get that in there. Also gonna add in two cloves of garlic that I ran through the press. Gonna let these go, just gonna soften them up a little. Let's toss together the wet ingredients for our meatloaf. We're gonna get our peppers, onion, and garlic mixture into a bowl here. I got one cup of Bloody Mary mix. Get that in there. I'm using Sucker Punch Bloody Mary mix. It's got ghost pepper, jalapeno in it. Let's see if we got some uh, dill pickles in there. It's pretty tasty stuff. Two eggs that we beat up a little bit there. Couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard. That's looking good right there. We're gonna be using Bubba's meat beater rub. We're gonna buy a tablespoon. I'll leave the ingredients down in the description below. Looking good right there. Get that in there. And I also got about a cup of stuffing that I actually ground up a little bit. You can use regular breadcrumbs. I'm gonna go about, probably about, start with about three quarters there. You just wanna mix this all together. Time to get that meatloaf tossed together. I got one pound of ground chuck, one pound of ground pork, one pound of ground veal, and we're gonna come back with our bacon that we ran through the food processor to break it down. And that's a half a pound. You can go more if you want. Feel free. Just gonna give this a quick little mix. You don't wanna overwork this because you're gonna have a tough meatloaf. Now we'll come back with our wet ingredients that we threw together. All mixed up here. Let's get that distributed. And we'll just give this a little quick mix. Just want to get it all combined in there. This is smelling awesome already. These flavors, I guarantee you'll love them. I'm going to let this chill out in the fridge probably for about 20 minutes just to come together. All right, we got our meatloaf mixture out onto a parchment paper. I'm going to make two little ones with this. It's going to rain half there. We'll just form them up however you want. You want them kind of even all the way through so they'll cook even all the way through. That's what I'm gonna go with right there. I'll get this other one done. I'm gonna spray a couple of wire racks, toss them on top, 
Easy in the smoker, easy out the smoker. All right, got the Yoda running at 350 degrees. We're gonna be doing some upper deck cooking here. And you can see, we got a meatloaf on Little Rocks. Easy in. Easy back off. We'll load both of these on there. I did hit them up with a little bit of Bubba's meat beater rub. Gave a little dusting. We'll get that going there. Time to toss together a spicy Bloody Mary glaze. I got a half a cup of our spicy Bloody Mary mix in the bowl and also a half a cup of spicy ketchup. This is Bear's Breath. This has chipotles with the adobo. It also has jalapeno and green chilies. This stuff right here is awesome. You can find it, grab it. Half a cup of each in the bowl. To that, I'm adding four tablespoons of brown sugar. We got some Bob's Bee Barf. We got our honey here. We're gonna be going tablespoon, two tablespoons. That's looking good right there to me. A little whack of apple cider vinegar. Good enough. And you're gonna go with some crushed red pepper. I'm using Flat Iron Pepper Company, the four pepper blend. Awesome stuff also. We want about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. Adjust it to your taste. You can use crushed red pepper if you don't have that right there. And all you wanna do is just mix it up. Let's give that a little taste. That's nice. We'll let that sit back, we'll hit it up on our meatloaf. We've been going for about a half hour or so. Let's take a quick peek. <laughs> they are looking good. They are smelling awesome right now, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna get a quick internal here. See where we're at. It's about 101, 102. This one's at about 107. I'm gonna let these go here to about 140 degrees. We'll bring it back, we'll hit them with glaze. I wanna pull these off at an internal of about 160. All right, it's been about 15 minutes or so. I did temp these a couple minutes ago. They were temping about 137. I spun them around earlier, as you can see. They're looking good. Got some nice color going there. We're gonna start hitting them up with our uh, glaze here. We're gonna spoon it on and then brush it down. Get it covered, cover it up, don't be shy. Add another layer of flavor here. This is gonna be some rocking meatloaf, I'll tell you that right now. Come back with our brush, get it going everywhere. Look at that, it smells awesome. I'm gonna let these go, I might glaze them up another one more time, two more times. I'll bring you back when we plate these up. All right, we pulled them, let them rest for a few. Remember, follow the hashtag. Don't let your meatloaf. Bunch of other awesome cooks. Bunch of great channels out there. Look at that. Just gonna cut this one right down the middle here. You can see what we're working with. Oh man. Look at that. You got a nice little smoke ring. It is definitely juicy. Let me get a couple slices into this. A couple of quick beauty shots. We'll bring you back for a taste test. All right, we're ready to give this one a taste test. Get you right in there. 
Damn. This is smelling awesome. Looking good, right? Let's get a little chunk off of one here. Man. Look at that. That right there is rock star. Those spices right there are pulling through. You get that Bloody Mary, you get that juiciness, you're picking up that bacon in there, definitely. Those flavors right there are hopping. Wow. You're definitely gonna give that one a shot. This glaze, crazy good. It's a perfect balance right here. Start to finish, awesome flavor. Remember, follow the hashtag, don't let your meatloaf check out some other awesome meatloaf cooks. You don't know what you're gonna find there, but you know it's gonna be good. Thanks for watching, stay safe.